Hello everyone, my name is Adam Vox. Welcome to another quick tutorial here. In previous videos, I've recommended using speedtest.net to test your internet connection speed for things like OBS bandwidth and things like that. I've actually found a better alternative. Speedtest uses plugins to render the actual speed tester, and that actually causes some slowdowns and gives you a bit slower speed reading than you might expect and otherwise may just cause problems with your web browser. And so instead, I'm recommending now to use OpenSpeedTest.com. It is something that runs on HTML5 instead of Flash, Java, plugins, things like that. And as far as I can tell, it actually provides much more accurate speed test results as well as, you know, more uh, faster ones. Like it, it shows faster because it's not running through a plugin. So you just go to OpenSpeedTest.com, of course, and hit Start Testing Speed. And it's going to show you here an estimate of your speed. And this is about, I, I am personally paying for 50 down, 5 up. And it's showing me that I get quite a bit better than that. And it does, you know, it, it, it maxes out at 1 gigabit. Although it may, you know, if you get past a gigabit, it may scale back up. I don't know because I'm not lucky enough to have internet that fast. But here I'm getting a 21 MS ping, which I get about a 40 using speed test. And my upload speed's struggling a little bit because I am uploading videos. <laughs> it just jumped up to 8 there. But see, it keeps updating as you're going. And see, now it's struggling a lot because I'm, like I said, I'm uploading videos and suddenly it can't keep up. And so, while it can be affected by what's going on, it's affected a lot less than speed test would be. Because it, your internet, if you're running a speed test while you have things going on the internet, it's of course going to not be as accurate. But... It showed me about 6.3 up and 63.8 down when I tested it the first time when I didn't have anything going. And it's fairly accurate. It has your carrier. It doesn't require, you know, it doesn't require an app. It doesn't require anything. You can test it on just about any device. So that even means your game consoles and stuff. So if you have good internet speed on your computer, but your console is getting slowed down, then you can run this and, you know, determine that and see what might be causing that slowdown. Just a much better option, in my opinion. And then they do recommend GlassWire, which is a program which can detect... It is only for, you know, it's a computer program, not like a game console program. But it can detect what's using up your internet bandwidth that's running on your computer. Um, I would recommend it. I will point you into a direction of a video from Barnacle's Nerdgasm, in which he actually explained what this program does and how it works and things like that. But I definitely recommend using this over speedtest.net. I do now have it bookmarked up here as speed tests for me and so that's just what I recommend for you and for whatever reason you're hosting a website in which you want people to be able to test their own speed on the website you can actually just copy their embed code this would be useful if you're developing an application like OBS or something like that and you have a website for it I definitely would recommend you know putting that in here but beyond that that's about it so thanks for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video my name has been adam reaples vox